What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 8, and we have some premiere news, an awesome article from comicbook.com that we will be referencing. They talk to the cast and some of the producers, so obviously minimal spoiler warning. It's not a spoiler video by any means. It's more of a discussion video, what it truly means and what we think may or may not happen. But spoiler warning, just in case you don't want to know, stop watching now. But here we go, guys. So like I said before, it's a comicbook.com article. We'll put the link in the description if you want to read more about it yourself. But we highlighted a lot of good information right here. Now, The Walking Dead is planning to go big with its 100th episode, but might contain a few timeline surprises even the biggest fans aren't expecting. While the Old Man Rick sequence promises to arrive in the Greg Nicotero-directed episode 801, which was recently revealed to be titled Mercy, this might not be the only time jumping the episode features. While visiting the set of the AMC series comicbook.com, heard from executive producer Gail Ann Hurd regarding just how big the season 8 premiere will be. So pretty cool. So that's kind of cool that this might not be the only time jumping the episode features. So they might be jumping around a little bit more this season than just this episode. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to happen or what the Old Man Rick thing is going to be, but my best guess is that we're going to see Old Man Rick like this that will actually be after the war ended. And the war will be put in flashback sequences of then and now, kind of what they did a little bit in the season six premiere, but it may last more than just episode 801, which is pretty cool because I liked season six as a whole and I liked the premiere of season six, but the war maybe present time past time present time past time so the all that war storyline might be kind of intermingled in a couple different episodes of past present past present intermingled within episodes or different episodes and i think it's a good way of doing it and i hope that it's done right either way but i'm excited just for season eight as a whole it is the most ambitious episode we have ever done gail and heard said about the premiere there will be elements shot during succeeding episodes. It's that big. The Walking Dead took an extra day to shoot the premiere, having a nine-day production schedule rather than a standard episode eight-day plan. But her statement indicates scenes will also have been pulled from future productions. Yes, this episode will be continuing to be on Nicotero's plate for a while, Heard said. So what do you gather from that? Is it good news? Bad news? Either way, it'd be pretty cool that the elements will be succeeding in bunch of different episodes. Norman Reedus approves. I think it's kind of cool if they go back and forth if it's done the right way. Nicotero made a similar tease while talking about episode 100 in season 8, promising a faster pace than ever before, but a new style of storytelling which frequently jumps around. Our story arcs that tend to play out over multiple episodes and sometimes we disappear and find people, Nicotero said. Aaron actor Ross Marquand caught up with comicbook.com. During the chat, Marquand shared his reaction to see Andrew Lincoln in the Old Man Rick getup, but also revealed a few details about the unique storytelling devices being used in the upcoming episode and those which follow. So it seems to be like a lot of stuff's going to be happening where people are going to get probably broken up, the plan's going to go awry, stuff's going to be, people are going to be scattered where you'll have you know, Ezekiel go this way, Maggie go that way, and Rick go that way. So we'll see and catch up with them over the course of a couple episodes. But obviously the episode one premiere will set the tone for the season, but we'll probably have to catch up with the scattered group and the people that are all over the place. And after the attack on the sanctuary stuff, and people are going to get split up. So I'm excited to see where it's going to happen. I know the first three episodes are very action-packed, they said, and we'll see how it goes down, especially for Aaron. They play with the storytelling of how we maneuver around time and everything, Marquand said. It's told in a very interesting narrative way. It's a massive departure from how we've been telling the story for the last few seasons, and it's a really creative, fun way of telling. So that's pretty cool. That's very different. Fans will quickly recall the season six premiere, which saw Rick Grimes and company leading a herd of walkers away from Alexandria with then and now being separated by simple titles, but also contrasted with moments from the past being featured in black and white. Whether or not the season eight premiere will attempt something similar is to be seen. Still, the season six premiere did not feature scenes teasing events of the future, rather recapping the past, which happened between the seasons. So season eight will be different than season six but i can see the then and now approach which i think they're carrying over a little bit more for this season which i kind of like that in season six i don't know if i like it for continuous episodes but we'll see so then season six premiere daryl 
was on the motorcycle. Sasha and Abraham were in the car. They set up redirecting the walkers away from Alexandria in a safe distance. Don't know if they'll be the same walkers or if those walkers will be the ones that they bring towards the sanctuary. Could be. That would actually be really cool if they kind of bring it all the way around full circle. They're the same walkers because you know Daryl is going to be directing walkers again that we saw in the trailer with Morgan, Daryl, Carol, and Tara. They have a plan to bring walkers to the sanctuary. Should be pretty cool and I can't wait for episode 801 of The Walking Dead. How about you guys? So there you go, guys. That's some good information about season eight, the premiere, and a couple episodes if there's a then and now approach to the season where they're going to be a flashback style. But I'm excited for season eight. How about you guys? Post your comments below. So there you go, guys. Check out the PT channel on Facebook. We got a couple different pages and groups, but the PT channel has a Facebook page. The Walking Dead News channel on YouTube. Definitely subscribe to that channel. We'll be posting stuff there more once The Walking Dead comes in season. Fight for us, the book series, books one, two, and three, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, digital on Kindle. They're doing pretty well. Check out the series. Instagram, Twitter, at the PT channel. Post stuff there all the time, like we just did recently. Walking Dead community on Facebook. Post stuff there as well. We got a group and a page. Everyone's welcome to join. And if you can, guys, tell your friends, tell your family, help us achieve our goal of 100,000 subscribers on both channels, the PT channel and the Walking Dead News channel. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.